Hi everyone, and welcome to Power Plays. I'm Harry, and this is my guide for Two Point Hospital. So today we're going to cover Flottering. It is the third hospital in this section here, and our third hospital overall. Um, we're still quite early on, so we're going to be introduced to new illnesses, um, some more game mechanics, and Flottering focuses around training and staff development. It's really important for the game, um, especially for the later stages, because you want to make sure that you've got the right trained staff in the right rooms um, to increase your chances of curing. So, let's jump right in. So to start off with, we're going to have a few tasks, um, just like before, before we go into the stars. So we're going to be focusing on getting our training license. So to get the most out of our staff, we need to train and promote them. When someone's getting enough experience on the job, they've had some training, they'll be ready for promotion. We can promote them, improve their skills, etc, etc. Pay rises, you know the deal. So. Let's just pause the game straight off and let's build a few things off the bat. We can see that we need hostel to be level four, hire seven staff and have staff morale of 55%. All fairly easy to be honest. It shouldn't be too difficult. So let's get a reception desk. Let's put it right here. And we'll get started with our GP's office. So GP's office, I'm going to build here because I want it to be, as always, 4x3. And as you see, if I did that here, it would stick out a bit. So let's just stick it here. We can use that space for something else later. Um, and I also, like, I know I could put it this way, but I don't want the queue to be too close to the door. So let's, as always, put this as close to the door as possible, giving the patient less time um, or between moving. And get our filing cabinet there. Rather annoying the filing cabinet. Don't really need it for much, if anything at all. And we're gonna do our um, medicine cabinet. So as you saw in the previous videos, um, I like to put the medicine cabinets down because they bring 1% to both diagnosis and treatment. So there are a few rooms we can use them in. The GP office is one of them. We'll do the pharmacy next, that's another. And the psychiatry, the ward, they're all gonna be using them. And they're all rooms that we're gonna be using this time. So I can fit 21 of them in here. Um, if you don't wanna spend the cash, don't worry. Um, you can always wait and build them later because uh, they are a thousand a pop so you do need to take that take that into account they're very fiddly sometimes to put in but once you've done it once you don't have to worry about it because then it will be done and i've left that space here i could probably if i um move that down i could probably fit one more in but i don't because in the later stages we're gonna need to put radiators in this uh, in this room in all rooms actually so I just get in the habit of leaving that space. So now let's do our gold stars. We discussed it in the last video, but gold stars are gonna bring the attractiveness rating up and it's also gonna bring our prestige up in the rooms. And we definitely want the prestige to be level five because then our patients are gonna be happier in the room, our doctors are gonna be happier in the room um, and keeping that staff morale up is gonna be important. So we have our GP room. Oh, don't want to hire anyone yet. We'll do very shortly though. Let's get a pharmacy on the go. So again, machine relatively close to the door. Um, we're putting a fire extinguisher in there because, oh, because it is a machine, so there's a chance it could set on fire. And because these do both diagnosis and treatment, we're definitely gonna put them in the pharmacy as well. So it's a slightly different layout to how many we can fit in. In the GP's room, like I said, we can do, blah, it's not close enough. We can do 21, um, which is gonna bump up our diagnosis by 21%, which is gonna be really helpful, especially in the 
early games. And I like to have it all nice, neat and tidy. Um, it does make everything look a bit cluttered, the medicine cabinet. So if you don't want to put as many down or you don't want to use them at all, feel free. That is completely your decision. Um, I just like to use them because I know that's going to bring the best out of the rooms. Is this going to fit? No, it's not. So let's just do the last row. And then we'll start doing our gold stars. So for this will be so much easier, I think I said it before, but so much easier on keyboard and mouse. I'm playing on the PlayStation though. It's just as hard on the Switch. I'd probably say on the PlayStation it's a bit easier, to be honest. But I think this is a great Switch game because you can just pick it up, put it down, um, take on the move. So I'm going to hire a janitor that has the mechanic skill. I'm going to do this one because they have ghost catcher as well just in case although they are quite expensive and i'm going to get this machine started on the old upgrade so um i'm going to build a staff room i always um, i always pause the game right at the very start and i um i do these rooms first um just because uh, I know these are the key rooms that pretty much every level is going to need and it just gets things going straight away. So what I recommend, so you've seen all this before for the uh, staff room, what I also recommend buying is the punching bag and we can fit four um, punching bags in this room. We just find it, there we go, punching bag and you can see it increases happiness. So it's really good just for keeping our doctors and nurses and all our staff really happy. So I just stick four in here right by the sofas and you'll see, um, I'll show you later when we have a staff member in this room, um, you'll see how quickly their uh, energy goes up just by being in this room and how quickly um, their happiness goes up as well. Or hopefully it won't be down to begin with, but yeah. So let's just, finish off with a few gold stars because we definitely want this to be a level five room there are some rooms which i don't mind not being level five like the toilets for example which is the next one we're going to build i'm just going to stick them here for now and again three toilets sinks opposite them bit cramped but doesn't really matter too much and then I don't want this to be I don't care about this being level five but I equally I don't want it to be level three so I'm just gonna pop just a few I'll just bring it to four and leave that there so we now have the basis really for what we want to do um, I'm gonna see what illnesses come in um, and build the rooms appropriately um, in Flottering, we're going to get a new illness called uh, Jest Infection, which is going to need us to build a clown clinic. We haven't unlocked it yet, so that's yet to come. We're going to have the Pans Lab, um, the Pharmacy, the Ward, and the Psychiatry. And we're not going to need the Deluxe Clinic, uh, so no lightheadedness here. Um, so I'm probably, do you know what, just to start, I'm going to build the Ward uh, just to get it... Um, go in straight away just because it's another way of diagnosing patients as well just in case we get some patients coming in that we can't diagnose straight off the bat which is very likely at the start so I like to have two screens just to make sure that there's no backlog um, because when before patients can get into bed before patients can um, leave the room they have to have used the screen so you don't want to have five patients in here all queuing for the screen so that is why i put in two screens um, we got five beds so i'll have two nurses working in here and that's why we need the two screens as well 
So prestige level four, so let's put a few more gold stars down and that should just take us to level five. There we go. And then as always, ooh, don't try and change the name of the room. Neat though that you can. I might name it after someone if they invest. Um, not that you can get investors, but maybe if any subscribers want their name on a room, I can drop that in. Uh, I'm just going to add the extra staff there. So, all we need now is actual staff members. So, ooh, perfect for working in our pharmacy. Um, uh, this person will be good because they've got a free training slot. Um, but we can't train yet, so we'll just leave that there. I'm going to get rid of this one, and uh, which one would I rather have? I'm going to go for that one, just because they've got the extra motivation. I'm going to get rid of these two for now. We do need an assistant. That one's got great customer service skills, so stick that in there. going to get rid of those. We've already got a mechanic there, and I don't want an argument to janitor. So I'm just going to leave it for now, start the clock going, and hopefully, before we get a patient, we can hire a, GP, a different GP. So I'm just going to quickly just stick some drinks machines down and a snack machine, make sure I get the bins there as well because we don't want them littering. There. Uh, we've got a patient just coming in now and it'll just be time for us to hopefully there we go the reason why I hired that one over this one is just this one's more expensive um, it's got skills that we won't be using yet um, God, are they more expensive? If only just more expensive. So, we've discovered bed face. And we have no nurses to work in the ward yet. So, we're just going to have to hire bog standard nurses, um, which isn't great. It's potentially going to impact our cure rate here, but we've got to do what we've got to do for now. And then we're making a loss, so. Let's get those prices up. And let's do our policy changes as I should do every time at the start. Bring that down to 85%. Fast track decision for GP so we don't get all the cues of them having to come back to the GP's office every time they're being diagnosed before going to treatment and promote staff automatically so we don't have to deal with that. So, come on this. Oh, the nurse is automatically going into the ward because we've got it clicked or tagged to have two staff members there. So I'm actually going to move the toilets just because there's a nice little space room there. Fits. Might as well use the space. I'm not going to use it for anything else. Good. I should hope so. We're really not getting the staff. Really not getting good staff coming through. We'll get this assistant just so our other one can go on breaks. We do need a janitor that has the maintenance tray. So let's just wait and see if anyone else comes in. Better than this guy. Oh wow, this one's good. Hangry. This one can do a bit of everything. I'm gonna hire this guy. Um, I don't usually hire ones that can do a bit of everything, but I am this time, just cause we haven't got the training slots anyway. So by hiring that doctor, um, I had an extra one that had the GP skill. We've now unlocked the training license. So we can actually start now hiring staff members who don't have any um, skills and we can mold them to exactly how we want. So I'm just going to pause the game and I'm going to build our training room. 
So again, I do it four by three. I put the door in the middle and I put the lectern just there. Now, the number of deaths is gonna directly dictate how many uh, uh, staff members you can train at any one time. Now, it is very rare that you're going to be training more than three staff members at the same time. And that's because they would then be off the floor and they wouldn't be working. And that's gonna be an absolute pain. It's gonna cripple the hospital. So, I only do three, and then what I also do is, where is it at? The brain anatomy poster or the anatomy poster? Um, $100, $100, both unlocked for eight kudos points, which we should, should have. Um, and if you look, increase hospital attractiveness, room prestige, and plus one training speed. So definitely unlock one of them, whichever one you want, and get them in this room, because what that's gonna do is that is going to improve how quickly you're training your staff members uh, which will mean that they can get back out onto the floor as soon as possible um, i actually also um, later on in the game just like with the medicine cabinets fill this room full of um, a form of bookcase it's not the same bookcase that you saw just above um, I'll just show it to you in a second, but it, it is a bookcase and what it does is it improves uh, training speed again and uh, just to show you can't actually put anything here just because the lectern's there. Um, just to confirm, it is not this one, so you can see that doesn't improve um, training speed. Oh, so I'm going to create this room and I'll show you how training works. So let's just yeah, get the pop-up. So essentially you can read that. So the training screen, you choose a qualification, you choose a staff member, and you choose a teacher. So you can do this in multiple ways. You can click on this select zone here. You can choose, these are all the courses available to us. So let's say general practice two. Uh, these are the people who can uh, perform the training, so be the teacher. And um, if you have any staff member already with that skill, they will be on this list. So we don't have anyone with general practice two. Um, so if I pick one, say, diagnostics, we do have someone that has diagnostics, so they could train um, anyone in diagnostics for us. Now, the benefit is um, they are free. The downside is that you're using an extra uh, staff member that could be working in your hospital. Also, you can see the teaching speed there of this doctor is 120%. Now, this is going to vary depending on what traits they have. Some people are quick learners. They have an increase of 50%. Some of them are natural teachers, 50%. Um, some of them are stupid, so they're minus 50%. And it, it's all going to vary the training time depending on what you have in the room to improve the speed, any bonuses, and then the staff members and the teachers. Now, you can use a guest trainer. Um, somehow always ends up being right, much to everyone's annoyance. Yes, the, the negative to a guest trainer is that um, training doesn't start immediately. They have to come into the hospital, walk to the room. Uh, so if it's far away from the door, like this one is, it will take them time to get there. Um, this one's going to cost a flat fee of 10k. All level one trainings cost a flat fee of 10k and then are plus 5,000 per trainee. So if we had three trainees for this, the whole thing is going to cost us 25k. On the plus side, their teaching speed is 160%. So I quite often um, am cash rich in this game, so I do use the guest speaker. Uh, but if you can spare the people, um, it's definitely worth using your staff when you can. So the other way of starting uh, training is by just going here and having a look at what training slots are available. So for example, this nurse, um, has a training slot available. So you can either click this training button here and it will go to this menu again, or you can oh, you can pick them up you can just drop them in the room. And if you drop them here, they'll learn a qualification. And if you drop them near the um, lectern, they'll teach a qualification. This person cannot, you see them shake. This person cannot teach because they don't have any qualifications. So we just drop them in here and we are gonna get them on ward management. Now we don't have anyone who's trained in ward management, so we're gonna to have to use the guest speaker. So that's gonna cost us 15,000. 
and we're going to start training. So, as I said, we're going to unlock the clan clinic. So, in the clan clinic, um, is going to cure Jess infection. There's going to be clans everywhere. It's actually one of my favourite diseases. Um, it's hilarious uh, to watch the the curing process. So, flattering is a bit of a problem recently. Clowns, they're everywhere. Apparently, they keep escaping from the travelling circus. The hijinks can be a real nuisance, and we need new equipment to deal with them. The Orb Foundation has a patented method for recalibrating the minds of clowns, supporting their rehabilitation back into society. They have offered suppliers with the necessary equipment if we can demonstrate our ability to mould our own staff. Sounds a bit sinister to me, but who am I to judge? So what that means is we need to train one staff member, and then we will unlock the crime clinic. So, that nurse is training, and you can see it's going to take, once the training begins, 30 days. You can see it just there, estimated duration of 30 days. And the teachers just come here and dropped in. So, sorry, let me just get my screen right. That train's gonna begin. Let's just have a quick look at what. So, I'm gonna hire this. Oh, I'm not gonna hire. I was gonna hire it, but I accidentally rejected it. Uh, what you can do is while training's in progress, you can actually drop a um, candidate in the room, a staff member, not a candidate, um, and they'll also begin the training. So, we have chest infection. Um, so we haven't unlocked it yet, but I'm going to get them to wait because I know that soon we will have it. So I'm not going to hire that doctor. We're fine with assistants, fine with janitors as well. And I'm just going to let things just run just for a bit. I'm going to check the prices because every time you unlock something new, you have to set the prices. Freudian lips, we need a psychiatry. So again, I'm going to put it to wait. And I'm going to build a psychiatry because we have unlocked that. I'm just going to put it right here. I'm going to keep that two um, corridor space so then people can walk through and not bump into each other. And let's set this up. So I'm just going to put the chair here and then the couch just near the door um, so the patient can get right on. Um, nothing else is needed in this room, um, but we can put my favorite, come on, um, medicine cabinets. This room can be used to diagnose and to treat patients. So these medicine cabinets, once I get them in, are going to uh, drive me insane, apparently. Um, these medicine cabinets are going to be perfect. Come on. Nah, all right. Sometimes I find that when I'm getting really frustrated trying to fit one in, if I just come back to it in a bit, it will be a lot easier. I'd be really interested if anyone has played this on the PC, if you guys have this problem as well, or is it just us console gamers? It's imperfect. I just go away, pretend, no, I don't want to put a cabinet there. And then it just lets me fit one in. <sighs> Nearly done. And then we're going to cover the room in nice gold. Ah, gold stars. Can't fit one there anyway. There we go. You stop messing with me now. Mm, that one's just not square. So I'm just going to put that in. And then finally we'll be good to go once I get it right. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. So now we've got the psychiatry. I forgot what that was for a bit. Uh, we really need to hire a psychiatrist. We need to hire a lot of staff. Just not that one. Do need to hire that one though. And I'm actually gonna drop them into the ward management training um, because I need two staff to learn ward management to work in the ward. And there we go. We've unlocked the current clinic and we've also now started um, our progress towards a one-star hospital. So this should be fairly straightforward. We need to train three staff 
um, promote through stuff. Um, and we've unlocked misery guts, so that's for our pharmacy. So let's just put the prices back up. And all right, so as you kind of saw before, as you train staff, you're gonna help them get promoted as they get experience, etc., etc. Um, so they kind of go hand in hand. So this is a four by four. So we're just gonna have a little weird corridor for now. Um, but we will move things around. And you can see this is a giant circus tent. And as I said, it, it, we'll show it when this uh, clown comes in, but it's absolutely hilarious um, how, how it's cured. So all we need is that. We can't upgrade the machine yet because we haven't unlocked it, but we should put in a fire extinguisher and we should drop these gold stars in just to make sure we can get a five star procedure in. Oh, I put one on the wrong wall there. Let me just get rid of that. Definitely don't need that there. So yeah, we don't however have a doctor that can really work in there yet. Um, so yeah, this is going to be interesting. And although we did make a profit overall, spent a bit too much money, so we are in the loss making at the moment. Um, but we can we can deal with that. We'll fix that soon enough. Um, and so we have our first emergency. So it's an emergency for the ward. Um, all our rooms are going to have emergencies: the clan clinic, the pans lab, pharmacy, ward, and psychiatry. The ward, however, has the highest amount of patients um, for the emergency, so it has eight. The clan clinic and pans lab have seven. The pharmacy and the psychiatry have four. So this is where, if you wanted to, you can consider maybe moving these toilets and having a bigger ward. Um, I'm going to leave it as it is for now. I think we've got the space. And we've got a new illness. Um, so let's bump this price up. And it's, that's going to really help us as well because um, it's going to help with the expensive treatment, essentially. So we have, all right, we have a nurse issue. We have a, a general staff issue, to be honest. Um, so let's just wait and we're just going to hire this person no matter what. Blah. As soon as we get the cash, that is. There we go. So it's going to hire that, bang them in the, the clown room, the clown clinic. Let's just watch this quickly. So he falls over, gets him. Then we play depressing signs on the wall until his happiness is removed and he knows longer a clown. Unfortunately, that one failed. So. Uh, not for that clown there's still a sad clown so make sure these people can work in the ward make sure these people are only going to work in the pharmacy or doing treatment uh we're not going to use the deluxe clinic these lot can do both gp and not so that's fine and we really need to get ourselves some decent staff. So again, I'm just gonna have this nurse. I'll let this nurse work pretty much everywhere, um, apart from the pharmacy, just because we've got these ones set up for the pharmacy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna train this nurse in treatment because they can then work in the clan clinic. So let's get a treatment going and Let's use one of our doctors. So this one does 130% training speed. So let's use them and let's just drop them in just to get that started straight away. So we have the pandemic illness available to us. So let's get them to wait, we'll build a room. 90 days without death, I doubt we're gonna be able to do that just because our staff are very poorly trained. And we have a health inspection coming. All kicking off at once. So let's have a look at our plots because if we want to build a uh, pans lab, we're going to need space. So here we've got 40k, 808 meters, 50k. Uh, that's only $47 per square meter, so it's not too bad that one. 
Um, I think I'm just going to go for the cheap. Yeah, I'm just going to go for the cheapest one. Um, just so we haven't got too much money. That'll take 16 days to build, and then we'll build the Pan's Lab. Doctor to psychiatry, Make sure that all our, yeah, all our VIP patients are prioritised. And we really need a doctor to go into that psychiatry. Because mm, at the moment, we don't have any. So that's going to be ready soon. And it's, when it is, I'm just going to pause it. We've got our trainee. It's 20 days in. Ooh, 100k profit. Nice. Um, so I'm going to wait till this trainee's finish and then I'm going to move the training room because it doesn't need to be close to anything and then I'm going to put the pan slab in that corner there and we're definitely not passing <laughs> that um, 90 days without a death <laughs> everyone keeps dying because we just don't have it's just hard to get the help these days let's just get a janitor on that as soon as possible We've actually, well, we cured five out of eight, so that casts us as a pass. And we have three, two, one. Bingo. All right. Let's move this and let's just put it here, here. Or should we go this way? This way, just because it's closer for now. We'll probably we're gonna more than likely move it later. So let's get a pans lab here. Perfect fit, four by four. Get this nice and close. Why did I put the door there? Get this nice and close to the door, just so the patient doesn't have much to move. I'm just gonna move, and then. Stingature because it is a machine and then let's get these gold stars in Get that prestige up We got loads of space nothing else is gonna go in here There we go, and what we can also do is we can get this um, Upgraded straight away because we've already unlocked it funny and he is a salty sea dog this game makes me laugh any of our staff for training mm. this one i mean they're working at the moment but it's fine we'll get there get them trained in treatment is this the right nurse it's just kind of changed last second no it's not there we go. Learn qualification. Let's get them on for treatment. Let's get this one in because it's 130 and I don't want that other nurse to learn it because I'm going to have them focus on uh, ward management. So that will get us to three trained staff and we'll have to wait for a staff member to get promoted. And then we can hire this guy and drop him in because he has the treatment skill. So. I'm going to hire another janitor um, just so I've got another one that... Because we've got a few machines, so it's just good to have another one that can do the maintenance. So I'm just going to drop that one in there. And... We're really struggling here with the, having no doctor that has the psychiatry. Um, psychiatry skill. So what you, what you can actually do is you actually start to send patients home. You can click on them and you can click here, send them straight for treatment or send them straight home. Um, we might actually have to do that if this next one isn't a psychiatrist. So, we passed the inspection, so we got some cash, some reps, some kudos points. Ooh, that looked like a quite a tough, hard landing, that, but we cured them. This training course is going along nicely. And 
any of our staff close to promotion? This one, definitely. So this one's going to get promoted any second now. And then that one will train, finish any second now. There we go. I'm just going to hire this one, bang them straight in there, because otherwise we're going to have a massive backlog on the psychiatry. And that's not good. So that training course is over, so I'm just going to pause it quickly. Just make sure all our doctors are working in the right places. Yeah, that one can do anything. That one can do any of them. Just want this one to focus there. Yeah. Yeah, all good. Don't really care about the others, to be honest, for now. Um, you will later. Not so much now. Um, and... Have we got anyone we want to hire? So... Don't really want to hire someone who is nasty. Do want to hire someone who has the pharmacy management skill. Because what we can do then is we can get this one off pharmacy duty and just have these two rotate between the two. We can have that one then focus on our clown clinic. And we've got another one focus on the clown clinic as well. So I'm going to actually take them off ward duty and they can focus on the client clinic. And then we have this one who is ready to actually be trained. We've got a doctor who's also ready to be trained. So let's, let's train one of them. So this one's just been promoted, so I think she deserves to be trained. Not that the other one doesn't, but... So we're going to go for Ward Management 2, and as you can see it's a level 2 training, so the fees have stayed at 10k, but the price per trainee has gone up to 10k. So it's going to cost us slightly more money, but it'll be worth it. I'm going to upgrade our Extractor Pan to the next level, and yeah, that's, that's how you get one star. So congratulations, you've been awarded a one-star rating from the Two Point Health Ministry. You're getting rather good at this. I see you're showing signs of the ability to develop staff from within. How terribly promising. Which is to say, how terrible. Stay there to nurture this fledgling talent, or abandon it altogether, and move on to passage new in our chilly northern region. So we've now unlocked, you can see there, um, Mitten University, which is a training hostel. It's good fun, actually and I mean they're all good fun um, and tumble uh, which sounds like it's going to have a lot of broken bones but we shall see uh, we've also unlocked the reception room which we'll go through I personally don't use them because they take up a lot more space but we can have a look at them and the clown poster uh, we got 10,000 bonus points and 100 kudos and it's worth noting that, um, so it says we've unlocked the chilly northern region, and that's likely to mean the introduction of radiators, because um, we're gonna have a cold area, so you're gonna need a bit more space in your rooms in order to uh, keep your staff and patients warm. So I'm gonna cut it there. Uh, we'll cover how to get two stars and potentially three stars in the next video. So if you enjoyed this, make sure to like the video uh, drop me a comment let me know let me know what you did didn't like any feedback i love it all and subscribe if you want to see more content exactly like this and i'll catch you on the next episode bye for now